Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. Mike here from virtualrealityoasis.com and today we're going to be doing a unboxing, installation and review of the VR cover Oculus Rift interface kit. This is the standard edition. Essentially what comes in the kit is a replacement plastic frame that fits on your Oculus Rift and two leather sort of foam pads, one's a thick one, one's a thin one, and also a sort of material type cover to put on those as well. Now, the reason why I bought this is because I obviously use the Rift quite a bit. Also, I have friends and family sort of using the Rift from time to time. So having the original sort of foam pad is probably not ideal, although I do try and clean it as much as I can. It's probably not great for hygiene, and plus I want sort of to keep it in the best possible condition. So I thought this kit would probably be, uh, be a good solution for that. So as I said, I went for the standard edition, which including shipping costs $56. Uh, for my UK friends, that's uh, £45 uh, for the kit, including with shipping. And it took a couple of weeks to arrive. So uh, it's my first ever unboxing, guys. So please take it easy on me. And let's dive in. Okay, guys. So let's start with what's in the box. So essentially this is what comes in the box. You get one replacement facial interface plate for your Rift. You get two leather type feeling memory foam pads. One thick one, which is this one. And one thin one, which is this one. And you get a little cover here. So let's crack on and get the Rift in and take the old one off. So to take the old one off, you literally just pull it, like so, and the old one comes off. And then just clip the new one into place, like so. Dead easy installation. And then once that's like that, these little uh, foam pads are held in by Velcro. And there we have it, it's installed. That was super, super easy. So it looks quite nice. What I'm going to do now is uh, actually try it on, play a few games with it on, see what it feels like, and then uh, I'll do a little conclusion at the very end. I just noticed that that's a bit better. It's lined up a bit better. So yeah, I'll do a conclusion at the end of the video, let you guys know what I think. Cheers. Okay guys, so I've had a few hours to play around with the VR cover facial interface kit and I have to say out of the pads that were provided, the thicker and the thinner one, I actually prefer the thinner one. Uh, it brings the uh, the lenses a lot closer to your face and um, it actually, not that it increases it a massive amount, but it does increase the field of view very, very slightly. Um, it's incredibly comfortable. I like the way that you can Velcro it on and off and give it a good clean every now and again, which is uh, really, really useful. Uh, I'd also say that um, just if so you're aware that you can actually still wear glasses using this one they do provide another kit which is supposed to be designed for glasses and uh, it actually increases the length of it rather than the width so the length of it is a little bit bigger to accommodate glasses but I have to say I've always worn glasses in the Rift and I've never had any problems and I don't have any problems with this one which is a little bit narrower than the original plastic bit so uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I have to say, I was a bit sceptical because
because I had previously ordered the very um, original VR cover when the Rift came out, and this was kind of their effort then, um, and it never really fitted very well, and I have to say, after about 10-15 minutes, I just chucked it away, and, and, and it's been in a drawer ever since. So I'm really pleased that VR Cover has managed to turn it around. They've done a really good job on this, and uh, it's uh, going to be staying on my Rift for the uh, the time being. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, review, unboxing, installation video. Uh, like I say, it was my first ever time. For those that are not new to my channel, you'll probably notice as well that the audio this time is much, much better. And that's because I've switched over to a new Rode SmartLav mic. Um, and so that's my whole aim, is to increase the quality of this channel. And I've got a new camera on its way, so big updates in the near future. Thanks again for watching, guys. And as always, see you on the next one. Cheers.